Karek. Ghana is the leading producer of gold on the continent, contributing 4 million ounces of gold. So, Speaker, as I speak with you, we are proud of that because the South Africa that was leading the gold producing platform is struggling because of power outages. According to the report from the Chamber of Mines, Mr. Speaker, 18% of the threshold of power in South Africa is hinged on the activities of mining. And that 18% South Africa is struggling to get. And that has reduced tremendously on their production level. If you go to Zambia, Mr. Speaker, and per the Chamber's report, their production has also declined astronomically, Mr. Speaker, and that that is contributing to decline. Mr. Speaker, as the President took office in 2017, unfortunately, Anglo Gold Ashanti Mine in Obuasi was not functioning. That relegated us to the back bench. Mr. Speaker, BBNE was not functioning. It relegated us. But for the intervention of His Excellency the President and his government, we are back on the pedestal of leading gold production as far as this continent is concerned. And that is commendable. Speaker, the total revenue and grants that this government has taken from 2017 to the end of 2030, 2023, Mr. Speaker, amount to 505 billion cities. 505 billion cities is what this government has taken from 2017 in terms of revenue and in terms of grants. In terms of revenue, Mr. Speaker, tax revenue, all other revenues, including petroleum revenues, that is the oil and gas you know, revenues, which accrue to us due to royalties and, and, and other things. Mr. Speaker, in terms of loans that this government has taken, <coughs> sorry, in terms of loans, Mr. Speaker, we were given five, we handed over 120, some will say 122. But the current debt stock is over 600 billion. Mr. Speaker, in the last seven years, this government has borrowed 500 billion. If you put the money borrowed by this government for the last seven years, which is 500 billion, to the 505 billion that they have received in terms of revenue, grants, and all other forms of revenue, it means that in Nana Kufuado's hand, in the last seven years, he has received over 1 trillion Ghana cities. Wow. In terms of loans, Mr. Speaker, we were given five, we handed over 120, some will say 122. But the current debt stock is over 600 billion. Mr. Speaker, in the last seven years, this government has borrowed 500 billion. If you put the money borrowed by this government for the last seven years, which is 500 billion, to the 505 billion that they have received in terms of revenue, grants, and all other forms of revenue, it means that in Nana Kufuado's hand, in the last seven years, he has received over 1 trillion Ghana cities. Wow. 1 trillion Ghana cities is what this government has received wow. if you put the revenues and the loans together. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, let's do some comparison here. Under President Mahama, the revenues that are true to his government from 
The date he was in office to the date we left, which is 2016, is 90 billion. Mr. Speaker, in terms of debt or money we borrowed, that's the figure says 120. If you take out what President Kufuor left us, you would say that President Mahama took 110 billion in terms of debt. If you add that to the revenues, that is the revenue with grants and all that, that is 200 billion, Mr. Speaker. President Mahama did all the things he did with 200 billion. Nana Kufadu has taken one trillion and for seven years, <clears throat> and there's not much actually to show for it.